for the Red Sox yesterday in a spot start. Johnson's first start inside Fenway Park, and while it's enough to make any pitcher nervous, he absolutely crushed it. Sox get the offense rolling early in this one. Bottom of the first with two runners on, Xander Bogarts. Hammers a single into left field, Mookie Betts. He scores. Justin Pedroia back in the lineup after missing a day's oh. out at third. Fighting past the base. The Sox are just getting started. Next batter ends with Benintendi. Sir Boy Emerson sends one right up the middle. I hear he works out. Then he bites up, right? Yeah. That scores Bogarts. And the Sox are up 2 nothing with one out in the first. After Rob Whalen hits his second batter of the inning and walks another, the bases are loaded for San De Leon, and he comes through, blooping a single into right field. Ben and Tenney scores. Hanley Ramirez, he tries to score, but he's thrown out at the plate to end the inning. Yeah, the Sox score 30 in the first. From there, the Sox handing it over to Brian Johnson, lefty making his second start of the season. As he said, first career start at Fenway Park, and it was a brilliant one. He throws a complete game shutout. Given up just five hits and striking out eight. He becomes the first Red Sox pitcher to throw a complete game this season. He threw 109 pitches in this one, 85 were strikes. Getting some help from his defense in the fourth throw. Nelson Cruz drills one into right field and Mookie Bash getting under it for the grab at the wall. That keeps this one scoreless for Johnson. Take another look. Right into the bullpen there. But Johnson, not the only one having himself a day. Jackie Bradley Jr. getting in on the action, too. In the sixth inning, Robinson Cano hammering one to center field. This one looks like at least a double, right? Yeah. Bradley making the leaping catch to Rob Cano. Little uh, last second adjustment there. He's making that one look easy. Such a good game for him. Johnson dodged a bullet there, and he knows that he owes J.J. Cole's one. In the home half of the inning, uh, Bradley swang in. The runner on, he drives on deep to right center field and over the bullpen for the second home run. For the two-run home run, I should say, his fifth home run of the season. That gives us off a 5 nothing lead. But JBJ would save his best for the final inning. Check this out. No. Nelson hmm. Cruz and JBJ with a diving shoestring catch. Scoop a loop. Absolutely incredible. Johnson and Johnson. That's the other Johnson, his dad. Yeah. Static about Papa that. Johnson. Puts the icing on the cake in the final out. Line shot. Bradley racing. He's got it. And that's the ball game. Brian Johnson goes all the way. And the Red Sox win it. Six to nothing. Red Sox with their first complete game of the season. What a story. It seems like a no-hitter. It just has a feel of a no-hitter because of the catch by Jackie. Yeah, you know it's a big deal when we go sound full from OB and F. Here's John Farrell. What made the difference for Johnson yesterday? We make some really good plays defensively. Uh, you know, Jackie comes up big three different times. Mookie pulls one back into the, out of the bullpen. Uh, and he got on a rhythm. You know, when we scored, we scored quick. So he never really sat all that long. And he was able to keep a, a great pace to the game. Love the way uh, he, he worked, how quick he worked. Uh, so... You know, the, he, he didn't have the walks mixed in as he did in, in Toronto. So, like I said, complete command of this game. Well, after the game, Darren Austin and Johnson doused in some Watch sort of out. refreshing beverage by Hanley Ramirez and Christian Vasquez. Soggy, yes, but that didn't stop them from talking about Johnson's performance. I think That's Brian okay. needed to cool off. It's been uh, quite a day. Brian, third major league start, your first at Fenway Park, complete game shutout. What are the emotions? Uh, you know, I wouldn't have been able to do it without my defense behind me. Mookie, Jackie, in the last inning especially, Sandy the whole game. You know, it was awesome. I wouldn't have been able to do it without them. What are the reactions when you see those catches that they made today? Uh, breathtaking, to be honest. It's, uh, it was amazing, and I actually made a, made a joke earlier in the game with Mookie with the sun, so, and he said, I got you, don't worry, so he did. How did you feel warming up in the bullpen? Did you know this was going to be a good day for you? Uh, felt normal. Felt like a normal day. And your dad is here and your family's here. What does it mean to you to have them here to share this day with you? Uh, it was awesome. It's the first major league game my dad's got to see, so it, it was everything I expected. It was awesome. It's quite a day. Congratulations, Brian. Thank you. I love how the Fenway 
and faithful stuck around for Johnson there. That's pretty awesome. And, like, I can't imagine the emotions his dad was feeling. Yeah, his dad's a boss. Johnson is the first Sox pitcher to throw a nine-inning shutout in a Fenway debut since Pedro Martinez did it back on April 11th, 1998, also against the Mariners. Steve O'Brien and Eck with more on the Sox win. So the Sox have won six in a row, and I would say Dennis Eckers lead it yesterday at Fenway Park, a very special afternoon with Brian Johnson on the mound. That was easily the most heartwarming victory of all of those for the Red Sox. It really was. You had to be there. It was just so special. I mean, the ninth inning, when it came down to the ninth inning, we all wanted him to get a shutout. And when Jackie Bradley made that shoestring catch, diving shoestring catch, the place went wild. And then he made the last out and against the wall and in track. And then for Brian Johnson, I mean, he was thrilled. You would have thought it was a no-hitter. It felt that way. It really did. And then yeah. earlier in the game, we saw his dad in the stands. They did an interview with him. And it just was meant to be for this kid. And the strikes that he threw. I mean, you never see a guy throw that many strikes. The percentages of strikes was ridiculous. It just was a phenomenal day for him. Up around 80%. And, you know, you come to the ballpark, and Brian Johnson's pitching, and it's only his third major league start, just his second of the year. His first one was, you know, really mediocre. This one, he was brilliant, obviously. But you never know what you're going to see when you come to the park. He goes all the way, the first complete game of the year for the Red Sox. Yeah, I tell you what, I, you know, we I haven't been doing this that long games, but this was, this might be the most special game I ever did. Mm. The feeling that I felt, you know, throughout this and wanting him to do it, and he did accomplish it. It's just one game, but... Uh, it meant something for me. It was really was special. It meant the world to him and his family. Now, the Red Sox won six in a row, going for seven later on today with Rick Porcello on the mound trying to sweep out the Seattle Mariners. Well, I'll tell you what. They got, they got the Texas Rangers at the right time, and I think they've got the Mariners at the right time. And uh, Porcello on the mound, that's the guy you want to have on the mound to sweep these guys, and they should. Well, the Red Sox rolling right now in all phases, but yesterday belonged to Brian Johnson. Just an amazing performance. First complete game and a shutout over the Seattle Mariners. Well, as impressive as that was, in a cruel twist of fate, Johnson was sent back to Pawtucket after the game, but it is to make room for David Price, who gets the start Monday in Chicago. You heard OB 